Hey everybody, it's Andre from the Eaglesoft Field Guide, and I am here with a good friend. Uh, and Rohit uh, Gark is a friend who I've been talking about for years. And it's a shame because this is the first time that we've actually had a chance to do this. And I said, hey, let's just get it on video. And we'll, we'll talk about analytics, you know, my passion for the numbers of a dental practice, along with, um, you know, his connection to Eagles Off because, you know, he's always been uh, sort of one of the guys that it's my go-to when it comes to um, third-party vendor analytics that uh, is based on Eagles Off. So, uh, Rohit, how's it going? Good, good, Andre. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, you know, and you're um, on the West Coast. Uh, I'm on Where the East Coast. Other? So it's still light there and it's dark here. <laughs> I love when this happens. So, yeah. well, I really appreciate you being here. And I really appreciate you being part of the Eaglesoft Field Guide. I mean, you're a great resource for folks who are, you know, in this world, we're always looking for statistics. We're looking for data about our practice. We're looking about how we grow the practice, but also how we measure that growth. And you know, you're, you've been my go-to guy for that kind of stuff. So what we wanna talk about sort of the metrics of, of the practice. Um, things have changed since last year. I mean, you know, we've had a, a, a dip in the numbers, haven't we? Oh yeah, totally. I mean, the numbers, uh, we, we still haven't published the overall impact of what COVID has had over the year numbers, and we're gonna publish them at the end of this year, and there is a significant downturn in terms of number of patients being seen, but at the same time, there's an interesting trend that the practices are becoming more profitable because there was so much dentistry that didn't get done in 2020 that it's all getting done in 2021 so we're seeing a very strong uptick in restorative production and it's it's incredible and combined together with the with the lack of hygienists around the country uh yeah. that's actually even more so that people's hygiene departments are booked out three four five months yeah. and so it's it's COVID has definitely changed metrics yeah. and numbers and it's also changed the the business, my business, your business, you know, I went online and, you know, one thing I know about what you do is because your background, your background is in engineering and, you know, you're, you're, you're the brains of, of the dental business. You know, I'm, I'm sort of the, uh, I'm the, the soft touch customer service guy. You know, one of the things that you've done is you've been able to actually incorporate some more tools in what practice by numbers does too. Yeah, and that was that was all based on that's where the customers led us, right? Yeah. Because we have had a very strong following of customers from 2017. That's when we, we have customers from that point, from the moment we opened our doors. And these are the customers, the early adopters, the first hundred practices that joined. They pushed us and pushed us. And my wife, of course, she's a, she's one of the owners of the company as well. She she uses Eaglesoft, so she uses Andre's guide all the time. Her staff <laughs> uses Andre's guide all the time. And uh, she's the one who kept pushing us too, is that this, this thing that dental offices are going through is that dental offices, they deal with this debt with, by thousand cuts, right? Yeah. Because you have Eaglesoft and you're paying for Eaglesoft and then you have something for appointment reminders and then you have something else for writing reviews and then you have another service that does online appointment booking and then you have another one that's doing perhaps payments and then forms and then of course what we started out with is as the, the first feature that we had was analytics mm -hmm. so you combine all these things together you're paying close to thousand twelve hundred dollars to run a practice on top of people's stuff and my wife what he said this is too much I mean, people are getting taken advantage of that we need to combine because we had the king, keys to the kingdom so much so as to speak in terms of data. We had all the data. We had all the connections uh, to get the data. And all we had to do is just expand the power of practice by numbers. So now what we have done is practice by numbers includes all of those features that, that I just mentioned. Uh, the one thing that it doesn't include right now is forms, which forms will be released at, at the end of Q1, perhaps earlier. And then you have this one platform just one platform that does everything for you. Yeah. And we're going to keep building on that. And, and another that's what the doctors are asking for too. Well, if, yeah, yeah, totally. Because they're tired. It's, the cost is only one part of the equation. It's the interoperability too, that 
when you're doing appointment reminders, why doesn't it also does forms at the same time? Or when a new patient books an appointment, why don't they get automatically given the, given the forms? Or when a hygienist forgets to pre-appoint a couple of your patients for next six months, why don't they get a text message automatically telling them, hey, by the way, you forgot to schedule your next appointment and here is the online scheduling link. Go ahead, schedule your next appointment. Yeah. So you have the time. Yeah. And you know, and that's the kind of stuff that that you know, I, I my ultimate goal with the Eagles Off Field Guide was to put all this information in there so nobody would ever have to ask me another question. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and and I think about the fact that the same things happen over and over and over again in a dental practice. And that we see that every day. I mean, there's probably 200 something questions that come in to me on a regular basis, a lot through the field guide, but most of them come through, you know, sort of private chains. It's the same questions over and over again. And it's always, what do I do after the horse has left the barn? I mean, that's really what we're, you're talking about. You know, the patient leaves, a appointment wasn't made, but there's no fail safe. There's nothing that checked back. And the the old way of do, doing it was to run these reports to say, these are the number of people who didn't reappoint. Well, well that's, what's the point? We need something to be more proactive. And that's kind of what you're talking about there. Yeah, I and mean, you shouldn't have to run these reports, right? For example, in the Eagle Club, I don't know if you can, maybe you can correct me, but if you can even run the report of all the hygiene patients seen with a day, I guess through IntelliCare, you could probably run some of those reports, but it's not easy to figure that out. No. Uh, and yeah, our, it's, we know what it is, right? Because we understand dentistry, we have built the module such that it already figures out who was seen for hygiene. And if they didn't book the appointment, we'll invite them to book the appointment again. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's the stuff. And again, that would make it so that, guess what? I wouldn't have to answer that question next year. <laughs> you know? No, no, you see, another example is treatment plan, for example. People trying to figure out, hey, what is your treatment acceptance? and you run a report in Eagle Top to do treatment acceptance, well, guess what? If your office has the habit of entering all the profi codes, all the x-ray codes, all the period maintenance codes, well, all that becomes treatment now, right? Because yeah. Eagle Top doesn't really dis distinguish. And it's, it's a shame that it doesn't distinguish because it knows that that's really not treatment. Those, that's just diagnostic or preventative stuff. It shouldn't be considered as treatment. You should be considering something else like restorative and implants and, and dentures, even even repair, denture repair perhaps would be it is. Like for example would be uh, a filling is too high. And when I adjust it, that's really not treatment, right? Our software can actually figure all that stuff out to say, okay, here's, you presented a hundred thousand dollars worth of treatment and 70,000 got scheduled. Yeah. Or another way of saying that is, what percentage of your patients are scheduling treatment? And that's very important as well to say, hey, I presented treatment to 100 patients. And out of that, 90 of them scheduled the first step. It yeah. could be a fill-in. It could be a night card. 90. Now, that number is way more important to figure out what percentage of patients. And, and EagleSoft, as wonderful as it is, and, I, and I'll tell you one thing, since my wife uses it, I know EagleSoft probably not as well as you do, Andres. <laughs> but I know EagleSoft fairly well, and EagleSoft's reporting system out there by far is the best among all of them because we have done the comparison. But being the best is still not good enough. Yeah. You know, there's so much more you need, and especially the automation that you need around the reporting as well. Yeah. And that's usually what happens is people, you know, they've run these reports, they've run these reports, but then they can't correlate report to report, data to data, like you're saying, how many people did we see, how much was treatment, and what percentage of those people, and the difference is that correlation, that, that you know, how do we figure out, you know, the percentage of things that happen, and have it as a, predict, a prediction of the future, and again, that's what I keep always talking about, is I could care less about what we did last year, because, you know, if anybody who follows the stock market, you know, 1929, numbers are going to be bad, 2008 numbers are going to be bad, you know, so we know that there's some things that are blips in the radar, but we also realize that that doesn't predict what's going to happen in 2029, you know, just because it happened 1929. So we have to also understand some of those human situations that made those numbers happen the way they happen, you know, so yeah, numbers by themselves. Yeah, they're useless. You have to have the, you have to be able to 
use them, interpret them, and 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 don't look at them blindly because numbers for the sake of numbers make no sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's the, what's the uh, line? Forty five percent of all statistics are made up. <laughs> like yeah, that perhaps one. that one was too. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I like that. One. Yeah, but you know, this is the the one great thing about having a, a, a system, you know, built on EagleSoft is we know that you know as EagleSoft changes you change as you change you're following what's happening in your wife's practice and she has two practices right right yeah so you're seeing it real time this is not some reaction to the market this is not oh well you know bob software is doing this and you know tricks is doing that i won't say the rest of that name <laughs> is doing that you know you know because you're you're kind of living it every night you hear it at the end of the day i would assume oh i hear it if it breaks my wife comes and tells me oh my god practice my numbers broke today we we hear it real time that's yes. good yeah and that's i mean I, you know i came into this business through family and i think that's always one of the best ways to get into it because you not only have a financial stake you have that stake of oh boy what's thanksgiving going to be like no, <laughs> we'll my head get this right be on a stake. that's exactly. what the stake yes yeah so you know so on the horizon i i heard you say it and i don't know if you you let that out the bag by mistake or if i if, I, if that's already on the on the roadmap but so forms are going to be part of the of practice by numbers in the future yeah, so there's no, yeah, we, I didn't let it out of the bag. It's on okay. our website. We are telling that to everybody. We are very, uh, very uh, bullish about our future and what we are doing. Uh, so right now, if, uh, and again, this is, this will be, I'm not trying to sell this. I, Andre, you wanted me to come and tell you what we are up to. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do right here. That practice by numbers has pivoted into becoming a full on platform, right? We are, we are no longer just doing numbers and this was based on feedback from all our early customers. So we do analytics, we do full on two way texting, reminders, recalls, reactivations, uh, online booking, reviews. Uh, one thing that I forgot to even mention is it is uh, unlimited insurance verification. So we have now unlimited insurance verification built into practice by numbers that will in bulk verify your whole day and create a pdf of the eligibility and put it in your smart talk and you can do that a week in advance if it's not limited there's no limit to it right you can do it as many times the patient comes there's no reason for your front office to tell you or for anybody to tell you i couldn't verify because there's just too many patients all you have to do is click a button now and, it'll awesome. do it for you. and all that is included. And what we are also saying is anybody that's signing up in October, we will grandfather them into our forms feature when it comes out in Q1 of next year. That's very cool. I see. I like that. And that's why I, you know, I always like working with people who, you know, see the customer as a partner in the growth of the business. I mean, that makes a big difference for me. So, yeah, we, well, I have to tell you this story. Last year with COVID, we, we could have ceased to exist because customers came to us in March and said their practices are closed. Yeah. And we had no other choice than to, than to stop their billing. Many of them had contracts, some of them didn't, but either, either which way, they all required certain level of notice. My wife's dentist, she was exactly in the same boat. We didn't, we didn't have a choice. Uh, my wife, <laughs> yeah. of course, my wife said that, but we did the right thing too, to say, okay, we'll stop billing for anybody that, that offices are closed. And, and, and we almost went under, but by the grace of God and the grace of the government and PPP, we survived and here we are coming out stronger from it. Yeah. And, you know, it, I keep telling people that, you know, as, as, crazy as the last couple of years have been, it's been also a, a great time to retool, rethink, refine the business. Uh, you know, there were so many people who, who I talked to last year who, uh, as dentist owners, became the managers of their own business last year when they had no other staff in, 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 in place. And they, it was a great opportunity for them to, for them to learn the management of, of dentistry. It was, it was actually, you know, it was, it was a good thing. I mean, hate to put it that way, but it was a good thing for everybody. We got a chance to see our families and that kind of stuff, you know, uh, uh, besides the tragedies, but I thought it was also a great learning opportunity for a lot of people. And it, obviously you came out of it as a, as a stronger company too. 
Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, I wouldn't want to do it again, but, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, Another thousand years. Yeah, we'll sign up for that one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to do this with me. You know, I always like to try to bring um, information about the, the companies that I recommend uh, because it, people are always asking me. And, I, you know, for me, again, I, I want to make myself obsolete. So it's easier for me to say, hey, here's a link to a video that I did about it. And, and you, can, you can hear from the people who created the process. Uh, you can find out about the product. And actually, you know, one of the things I want to do is I, I'm, uh, you know, below us, I'm going to make sure that the a link to um, Practice by Numbers uh, website's there so people can get an eye on uh, what's going on there. And, and all of your contact information will be on the website. Um, anything else that's happening in the, in the next couple of months that everybody should be aware of? Anything that's, that's a big deal happening? Uh, there, what we're going to try to do is we're trying to convert as many customers over to our bundle package right now uh, by October. It's uh, October, I think, 19th or 20th right now. What we're going to try to do is uh, for Andre's customers, and if I, or it's not customers, Andre's members, and he's got he's got a lot of members now. Well, what is it? Why are we now 10,000 or did we? No, we're at 12,600. Whoa, man, you guys keep growing and growing and growing. Uh for all of Andre's Field Guide members, uh, we would like to offer a special offer, uh, extend a special offer, which is we'll waive the setup fees for either of our packages, either the, just the KPIs and metrics, or if you want to sign up for the full bundle package that's available right now, we will waive any setup fees through the end of August. So that's about another 10, 11 days for you guys to decide and make up your mind if that's interesting. Um, it's, it's an incredible offer and, uh, uh, we're going to continue growing. And another thing I want to tell you about our company is that it's completely a self-funded company. So there is no private equity money in practice by numbers. And I'm also pretty happy to report that most DSOs, uh, don't use EagleSoft. Actually, it's most single and small groups yeah. use EagleSoft. So all Eagles, Eaglesoft or Field Guide members should be happy to know that there's no private equity money was ever taken to build anything in private in, in practice my numbers. And we are very proud of it. So I want to share that. That's that's a big deal. You know, I, I'm, I'm all for uh, entrepreneurism and, and, and private private ownership. That's that's my thing. So I really appreciate that. And, you know, I just onboarded it. Uh, well, not onboarded, but I just sent one of the offices I worked with your way. So I know it's probably, I'm going to, I'm going to say in the two to $600 range for the onboarding. So that's a, that's a nice little coupon there, but <laughs> I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, that. it's huge. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, you'll say if you sign up for the basic package, you'll say $300, right? Wow. Because that's, that's the basic is. And if you sign for the bundle, which includes, again, it includes everything, right? And your grandfather, you save 650. That's so that's, that's, a, that's a little thank you just for being a member of the field guide. Yeah. And everybody knows, you know, I, I do this because, you know, my goal is so that every dentist uh, survives and thrives. And, you know, uh, I get nothing out of this. We have no, uh, you know, no uh, give back to Andre. There's nothing here. Um, it's it's really all about taking care of you guys in the field guide. So I'm 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 happy to be able to offer something like that to you guys. So this is this is fantastic. I appreciate it. So um, again, I'm going to put all the information, a link down in the the uh, the notes below this video. And uh, we're we're filming this on October the 20th. And what is the cutoff date again? How long do we have till the end of October? Uh, till the end of October, October 31st. Okay, so October 31st. So Halloween, get your get your your treat now guys don't wait till october 31st or otherwise you will be tricked on november 1st you won't get it so yes definitely and we we hold that we don't do very many specials at all this is a this this is the exception awesome. only for andre well that's good that's very good i i like that so everybody uh thank you so much and i appreciate everything that you do guy thank you so much andre take care